Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this short video I'd like to talk to you about targeting performance competence improvement. In my view, it's not about learning. Not at all. It's about performance. Performance competence is the ability to perform tasks to produce outputs to stakeholder requirements. To meet the stakeholder requirements, one needs to look at three key variables. The process itself, the environmental supports, and the people's capabilities. The process must be designed to meet all of the requirements of all of the stakeholders. Stakeholders vary enterprise by enterprise. This stakeholder hierarchy example, for illustrative purposes only, shows a hierarchy of stakeholders. While it shows customers leading to the right, the customer in this case is not the king of the stakeholders. If the customer wanted you to violate some governmental law or regulation, that would not be right. That would not be good for the enterprise to do so, to meet those customers' demands. For the government is the king of stakeholders when it comes to a comparison with customers. In a socially responsible environment, society at large, the health of the planet, supersedes all requirements by governments, although governments have the power of law behind them. Your stakeholder hierarchy might vary. The process must meet both the requirements for the processes themselves and for its products. Sometimes the stakeholders care about the process and whether you're violating child labor laws as one example. But sometimes they don't care about how you created the product via the process. They simply care about the products. Are the products safe for children? The environmental supports enable the process. They include data and information, materials and supplies, tools and equipment, the facilities and grounds, the budget and headcount, and the culture and consequences. These are part of the environment, what the environment provides to the people. The people and their capabilities also enable the process. That includes the people's knowledge and skills, their physical attributes, their psychological attributes, their intellectual attributes, and their personal values. In this, the big picture of EPI enterprise process performance improvement, we look at these three variables, the process, the human asset enablers, and the environmental asset enablers. First, the process. Again, it must be designed to meet all stakeholder requirements. The environmental assets must be in place to enable the process. And the human assets must bring those enablers that are necessary to manipulate and exist within the environment to perform in the process. Back to the process for a minute. This model is intended to be scalable from an individual team or departmental view rolling up to the functions, rolling up to the enterprises. Much like budgets exist at a departmental level and roll up to cover the entire enterprise. The 
these three sets of enablers, the processes, the environmental supports, and the people, are what enable performance competence, the ability to perform tasks to produce outputs to stakeholder requirements. This is covered in my book, Analysis of Performance Competence Requirements. Again, the focus of this book is on the analysis of the performance and of the enablers, and analysis of the enterprise systems that create or acquire the capabilities for performance and enablers. This is my model. There are various human asset management systems that could be called HR systems or talent management systems that address the organization and job design or redesign. It covers the staffing and succession planning systems, the recruiting and selection systems, the training and development systems, the performance appraisal and management systems, the compensation and benefit systems, and lastly, the reward and recognition systems. This addresses the people side of processes. But also, the environment is critically important. Having the systems in place that deal with the information and data, the materials and supply systems, the tools and equipment systems, the financial systems, the facility and ground systems, and those systems that impact the culture and the consequences that are in place. Those systems are critical to enabling performance, or not. These three variables are key. I'm happy to help you improve performance together, collaboratively.